The king cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, is a larger lapid endemic to forests from India through Southeast Asia. It is the world's longest venomous snake. Adult king cobras are 3.18 to 4 meters, 10.4 to 13.1 feet, long on average. The longest known individual measured 5.85 meters, 19.2 feet. It is the sole member of the genus Ophiophagus. It preys chiefly on other snakes and occasionally on some other vertebrates, such as lizards and rodents. It is a highly venomous and dangerous snake when agitated or provoked that has a fearsome reputation in its range, although it is typically shy and avoids confrontation with humans when possible. The king cobra is a prominent symbol in the mythology and folk traditions of India, Sri Lanka and Myanmar. It is the national reptile of India. It is threatened by habitat destruction and has been listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List since 2010. Taxonomy. Hamadryas Hanna was the scientific name used by Danish naturalist Theodore Edward Cantor in 1836 who described four king cobra specimens, three captured in the Sundarbans and one in the vicinity of Kolkata. Naja Bungarus was proposed by Hermann Schlegel in 1837 who described a king cobra zoological specimen from Java. In 1838, Cantor proposed the name Hamadryas ophiophagus for the king cobra and explained that it has dental features intermediate between the genera Naja and Bungarus. Naya Vitata proposed by Walter Elliott in 1840 was a king cobra caught offshore near Chennai that was floating in a basket. Hamadryas elapsed proposed by Albert Gunther in 1858 were king cobra specimens from the Philippines and Borneo. Gunther considered both N. Bungarus and N. Vitata a variety of H. elapsed. The genus Ophiophagus was proposed by Gunther in 1864. The name is derived from its propensity to eat snakes. Naja Injuns proposed by Alexander Willem Michiel van Hasselt in 1882 was a king cobra captured near Tabing Tingi in northern Sumatra. Ophiophagus Hanna was accepted as the valid name for the king cobra by Charles Mitchell Bogert in 1945 who argued that it differs significantly from Naja species. A genetic analysis using cytochrome B, and a multigene analysis showed that the king cobra was an early offshoot of a genetic lineage giving rise to the mambas, rather than the Naja cobras. A phylogenetic analysis of mitochondrial DNA showed that specimens from Shuritani and Nakhon Si Thamarat provinces in southern Thailand form a deeply divergent clade from those from northern Thailand, which grouped with specimens from Myanmar and Guangdong in southern China. Description the king cobra's skin is olive green with black and white bands on the trunk that converge to the head. The head is covered by 15 drab-colored and black-edged shields. The muzzle is rounded, and the tongue black. It has two fangs and three to five maxilla teeth in the upper jaw, and two rows of teeth in the lower jaw. The nostrils are between two shields. The large eyes have a golden iris and round pupils. Its hood is oval-shaped and covered with olive-green smooth scales and two black spots between the two lowest scales. Its cylindrical tail is yellowish-green above and marked with black. It has a pair of large occipital scales on top of the head, 17 to 19 rows of smooth oblique scales on the neck, and 15 rows on the body. Juveniles are black with chevron-shaped white, yellow or buff bars that point towards the head. Adult king cobras are 3.18 to 4 meters, 10.4 to 13.1 feet, long. The longest known individual measured 5.85 meters, 19.2 feet. Ventral scales are uniformly oval shaped. Dorsal scales are placed in an oblique arrangement. The king cobra is sexually dimorphic, with males being larger and paler in particular during the breeding season. Males captured in Kerala measured up to 3.75 meters, 12.3 feet, and weighed up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds. Females captured had a maximum length of 2.75 meters, 9 feet 0 in, and a weight of 5 kilograms, 11 pounds. The largest known king cobra was 5.59 meters, 18 feet 4 in, long and captured in Thailand. It diff. Growling hiss. The hiss of the king cobra is a much lower pitch than many other snakes and many people thus liken its call to a growl, rather than a hiss. While the hisses of most snakes are of a broad frequency span ranging from roughly 3000 to 13000 Hz with a dominant frequency near 7500 Hz, king cobra growls consist solely of frequencies below 2500 Hz, with a dominant frequency near 600 Hz, a much lower sounding frequency closer to that of a human voice. 
Comparative anatomical morphometric analysis has led to a discovery of tracheal diverticula that function as low-frequency resonating chambers in king cobra and its prey, the rat snake, both of which can make similar growls. Reproduction. The female is gravid for 50 to 59 days. The king cobra is the only snake that builds a nest using dry leaf litter, starting from late March to late May. Most nests are located at the base of trees, are up to 55 cm in, high in the center and 140 cm 55 in, wide at the base. They consist of several layers and have mostly one chamber, into which the female lays eggs. Clutch size ranges from 7 to 43 eggs, with 6 to 38 eggs hatching after incubation periods of 66 to 105 days. Temperature inside nests is not steady but varies depending on elevation from 13.5 to 37.4 degrees Celsius 56.3 to 99.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Females stay by the nests between 2 and 77 days. Hatchlings are between 37.5 and 58.5 cm 14.8 and 23.0 in, long and weigh 9 to 38 grams, 0.32 to 1.34 ounces. The venom of hatchlings is as potent as that of the adults. They may be brightly marked, but these colors often fade as they mature. They are alert and nervous, being highly aggressive if disturbed. The average lifespan of a wild king cobra is about 20 years. Venom. The king cobra's venom consists of cytotoxins and neurotoxins, including alpha neurotoxins and three-finger toxins. Other components have cardiotoxic effects. It can deliver up to 420 mg venom in dry weight, 400 to 600 mg overall, per bite, with a LD50 toxicity in mice of 1.28 mg per kilogram through intravenous injection, 1.5 to 1.7 mg per kilogram through subcutaneous injection, and 1.644 mg per kilogram through intraperitoneal injection. The toxins affect the victim's central nervous system, resulting in severe pain, blurred vision, vertigo, drowsiness, and eventually paralysis. If the envenomation is serious, it progresses to cardiovascular collapse, and the victim falls into a coma. Death soon follows due to respiratory failure. The affected person can die within 30 minutes of envenomation. Oarnine, a protein component of the venom, causes hyperlocomotion and hyperalgesia in mammals. Large quantities of antivenom may be needed to reverse the progression of symptoms. Polyvalent antivenom of equine origin is produced by Hafkin Institute and King Institute of Preventive Medicine and Research in India. A polyvalent antivenom produced by the Thai Red Cross Society can effectively neutralize venom of the king cobra. In Thailand, a concoction of turmeric root has been clinically shown to create a strong resilience against the venom of the king cobra when ingested. Proper and immediate treatments are critical to avoid death. Successful precedents include a client who recovered and was discharged in 10 days after being treated by accurate antivenom and inpatient care. Not all king cobra bites result in envenomation, but they are often considered of medical importance. Clinical mortality rates vary between different regions and depend on many factors, such as local medical advancement. A Thai survey reports 10 deaths out of 35 patients received for king cobra bites, whose fatality rate posed 28%, is higher than those of other cobra species. The Department of Clinical Toxinology of the University of Adelaide gives this serpent a general untreated fatality rate of 50-60%, implying that the snake has about a half chance to deliver bites involving non-fatal quantities of venom. Threats. In Southeast Asia, the king cobra is threatened foremost by habitat destruction.